Is the new Superman and Lois show on CW already better than Smallville? I think in some ways, yes. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to We Sibs West Coast, East Coast Siblings, where we talk about your favorite movies and TV shows. And yes, I know that what I said was controversial, but I'm going to explain. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell as a new trailer just dropped. And I'll be doing a full series on this when the show does come out on February 23rd. Let's dive into it. So the first way this show I think is already better than Smallville is in look, feel, tone, and the vibe that it gives off. If you look at the trailer, it's it's very close to Man of Steel um, in aesthetic and color grading. Even the way that it opens up um, is very similar to the Man of Steel trailer when it came out. So here you have uh, Bitsy Tolucci's character, a.k.a. Lois Lane, talking about, you know, when we imagined we'd have a family, we didn't imagine it would look like this. Uh, it seems like they're going through some turmoil. Their kids are having anxiety and are kind of, you know, depressed. They've both apparently lost their jobs at the Daily Planet, so that makes a lot of sense for why they would come back to the Kent farm and try and start fresh. Now, she mentions parents gone too soon, and she's alluding to Jonathan and Martha Kent, um, which doesn't make too much sense, as in pretty much every rendition of the Superman origin story, his parents die. I mean, Martha is left alive um, for the most part, but Jonathan dies much like an Uncle Ben. Now, Curly Boy right there is a Jordan Kent, but it seems like he's going to have powers, obviously, if he's going to be the biological son of Superman. That's a storyline that they'll play with uh, later down the road. But this is very much about Superman. Now he has some army general type character visit him on the Kent farm and let him know, oh, you thought you were going to be able to escape this. You're Superman. Just because you leave Metropolis doesn't mean that the world doesn't need a Superman or that all this stuff won't simply follow you. Um, he says you thought you wanted the simple life, that those days are long gone. We then obviously get a little bit of a worn out cliche here with a box full of kryptonite. And then we get some kind of high-tech Black Manta mixed with a Power Ranger type mercenary. Now, I'm thinking this character is going to be called Subject 11, as if you look at the IMDb page for this show, um, there's there's this Subject 11 character who seems to be the main antagonist for the series. I think that was him right there. We also see him a little later in this trailer using some kind of energy blast, some kind of sound wave to knock Clark's kids onto the ground. Oh, you're bearing the weight of the world on your shoulders. I really wish I could get drunk sometimes. So yeah, this is alluding to the fact that Clark is trying to leave the Superman life um, and it just won't leave him. Now, the second reason I think this show is already better than Smallville is the suit. Look at the suit. Now, it obviously takes some design hints from the Man of Steel suit, but I love that it puts Superman front and center in a way that we haven't seen in TV in decades, um, probably since the black and white TV show. If you look at Lois and Clark, it was a little too lighthearted and not enough action. If you look at something even like Smallville, it wasn't full-fledged Superman. It was about Clark becoming Superman. And literally in the last episode, we finally see him in the suit. So I love that they put Superman at the forefront. Now, next up, we get a clip of Jordan Kent arguing with his dad about the fact that they've seen Superman before. So it's pretty apparent that Clark and Lois have not told Jordan that Clark is Superman and therefore he is Superboy. This is probably in an effort to do more of that distancing away from the Metropolis life and the Superman life. Uh, they, they've they decided to keep this secret from him. And it seems like that might end up being a cliche where he finds out and it causes some mistrust. And he says, I only did it to protect you and all that kind of stuff. We know we've seen this one before. And the third and final reason that I think this show will be better than Smallville, and it has almost nothing to do with the show itself, is that it's in the Arrowverse, or you could call it the Flashverse now that Arrow is over. But Superman has a fully established, fully developed universe in which to play. We know there are going to be crossovers, but this puts Superman in his rightful place in any DC universe, which is at the forefront front and center, the leader. Um, that's just what and who Superman is. So I'm glad that he's finally going to be able to have his own show, face villains other than Lex Luthor. I love this Subject 11 character. Um, and I, I just think that overall, it's going to allow Superman to really unleash in a way that we haven't seen on TV ever before. So that was a quick look at the trailer. Let me know if you're excited for the show. Again, February 23rd, I'll be doing a full series on this. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Also, of course, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell so you don't miss when that series comes out. We're also on Patreon now, so if you want to support the channel, help us do more videos, make them better quality, and get them out faster, go over and check us out over there. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.